12 lap main event. Will we see a new winner? There's four previous winners here. Looking for the straight, straight across start. Here we go. Once again, three wide at the start for that second spot as Nick Newton has a great run on the low side. He'll come out of the corner number two in that third spot and set his sights on Don Mars and the number two machine of Dave Powell up front. Lap number one about to go at you right here. Coming off of turn number four, it'll be Don Mars, your early race leader. Brown will Powell slip into that second spot, followed by Nick Newton in third. Marshall Jewett back there in the fourth spot. Brown inside the top five as Tim Shields now picks up a couple spots here, moves up into that sixth spot up from 10th on the grid. Here comes Nick Newton. Nick Newton throws it into the corner, drifts up to the high side off of corner number four, just behind Don Mars, your race leader. Newton in that second spot. Dave Powell now slips back to third. Marshall Jewett still holding down fourth with Brown fifth. Tim Shields in sixth. Good battle, fourth, fifth, sixth. The four goes around down here in corner number one, way up on the high side. Looks like we will have to go yellow and just as I say that, the 4R is able to pull away Raven Justice problems for her over there off of corner number one. Yellow out. Newton, we are back away. Green is out. Everybody safely past the cone. Look out. Nick Newton had a great run going, but had a heavy push there into corner number one. Tim Shields trying to get up there. Challenge for fourth. Now he's in the cusp of losing that spot to Donnie Brown. Brown now just behind him. No change up front with Don Mars. Nick Newton still inside the top two. Marshall Jewett now the man on the move. Marshall up to that third spot. Just as I say that, Tim Shields goes in there. Thought about the slider. Couldn't get enough grip to make it stick. Tim Shields will come out in that fourth position. He'll challenge now. Marshall Jewett for that third spot here in corner number three. Good battle up front. Mars still out front. Nick Newton right there pressuring him. Tim Shields will take the third spot for Marshall Jewett. Good battle behind them with Donnie Brown now on the two with Dave Powell. Those two drivers trying to sort out the fifth spot here. Coming around to complete lap number five this time around. Lap five will be by this time. Seven laps to go this time. Here comes Nick Newton down low. Mars got way up on the high side, but he diamonds off the corner and maintains his lead. Five in the books. Don Mars now with about a six car length advantage on Nick Newton as Nick Newton drops back just a little bit. Just as I say that, he gathers it back up, pulls in right behind Don Mars off of four. Tim Shields creeping up ever so slightly, going for win number 10. Can Shields get up there to grab the win? Nine feature race wins for Tim Shields, who is your points leader heading into tonight's events. A total of 15 feature race wins between the top three here tonight. Who's going to come out on top? Don Mar says it's going to be me. I'm going to pull away by about a seven-car length advantage over his closest pursuer. Mars a little bit slideways now. Lost his grip. Problems on the nine. And that's going to allow Nick Newton to close in. Could there be problems on the nine of Don Mars? Something to miss on the nine car. And Nick Newton's going to come around as Mars goes around. Something amiss on the nine machine. Could be a tire going down. We saw him get squirrely there last lap. Something looks like probably on the right front has gone away on the nine of Don Mars. And your new race leader will be Nick Newton. Nick Newton now out front. Tim Shields up into that second spot. Marshall Jewett third. Donnie Brown is fourth. Dave Powell fifth. Mars hanging on to it in sixth. Still trying to lip it home back there. Stephen Blake Jr. also still on the track competing. Can Tim Shields close in? He's running out of time. He's got about a half a straightaway to go before he catches Nick Newton. Newton, your race leader this time around. The yellow flag is out once again. Yellow out looks like Donnie Brown. The 26 of Donnie Brown, tough break for him. Had a top five run going here, but yellow flag will fly. Nine last one out. We have three laps to do it. Nine down, three to go with the Grand Nationals. Here comes Nick Newton. Here comes Tim Shields. Here comes Dave Powell, your top three. Tim Shields now dives down to the low side. Couldn't make it stick that time, and Nick Newton's going to get a good, good run up on the high side to maintain his lead. Can he hang on to it? The nine-time feature race winner putting the pressure on here. It'll be two more laps to go. They're up high. They're down low. They're sliding behind him as Don Mars continues to have problems. 
in that number nine, but stays out there in that fifth spot. White flag set to fly this time around. Nick Newton trying to hang on for a win here tonight. Can he get it done? Started this one inside a row number three. He's now at the white flag. One more lap to go. One to go for Nick Newton in the 7-11, your race leader. Tim Shields in that second spot. In the 42, followed by the two of Dave Powell in third. Good battle back there for fourth and fifth now between the 15B and the nine. But off of corner number four, it's his fourth win of the year. Nick Newton out of Kansas City, Kansas takes the win. Tim Shields in that second spot. Dave Powell is third. Good run to fourth there. Not sure who got it. The 15B will take the fourth position. Stephen Blake Sr. over Don Mars in the nine. Nick Newton, your winner, now a four-time feature race winner here at Lakeside Speedway. Gets a big hug from the lady out there. Oh, yeah, hugs, bro hugs, and kid hugs down in victory lane here at Lakeside Speedway tonight. Four-time feature race winner Nick Newton picking up a victory here this evening. Trying to hang on. And keep it close with Tim Shields, who's finished second here tonight. Great run, though, tonight by Dave third spot to finish up third here tonight but the victory lane celebration will go home to kansas city kansas we're talking nick newton style your winner tonight in the grand nationals from flagman terry wantland fans looking for the green flag as well some green flag action here we go we are underway with the factory socks Oliver Harris there, you can see the hood wanting to come up just a little bit. Doesn't seem to slow him down any though, but Leroy Morrison powers back around and takes over that second spot here. Now they'll do the crossover maneuver into corner number three. Here comes the 50 of Morrison. Good battle behind him. Morrison, your leader, look out off of turn four. The 12 having a little excitement there off of turn number four. Jeremy Mulek hangs on to it. We'll stay clean and green. Meanwhile, up front, Morrison lost the lead to Oliver Harris in the 79, but fights back on the outside. Those two drivers go at it side by side into corner number three once again. Marshall Jewett now creeping in on the action in the seven. Six-time feature race winners. The leaders get together off of four. Morrison and Harris get together. Morrison's car stalls here off of turn number four right in the middle. Yellow is out. So back underway, a couple laps into this one, and Marshall Jewett says, I'm out of here. See ya. As the seven powers his way to the front, Oliver Harris left to do battle back there in that second spot with the 74 and the 12. Marshall Jewett trying to pick up win number seven on the year. Well in command of this one. Three laps in the books that time around. Good battle here for second between Oliver Harris and the 79. And that 74 of Bud Wallace. They go at it side by side off of corner number two. Good side by side battle for the second and third spot. Just behind him, the 12th. Runs in that fourth position of Jer Jeremy Bulick in the fourth spot, followed by the 37 of Lane Chu. Jewett now with nearly a full straightaway length advantage as the 74 of Bud Wallace pulls away. And the 12 goes for a spin down the front straightaway off of corner number four. We'll see if Jeremy Mulek can refire. He does. We'll stay clean and green. Mulek trying to get up to speed, but unable to do so right in front of us here. As the 12 has problems on the right front of the car, looks like problems for the 12. And the yellow flag will have to fly. So yellow flag, Marshall Jewett, your leader. No passing before the cone. Will everybody make it by? Here we go. Green flag flies once again. Battle now for that second spot as Oliver Harris tries to take over second from Bud Wallace. Wallace fights back on the high side off of turn two. Gets a good run. Here comes Lane Chu. Lane Chu now getting in on the action as he breaks his way inside the top four. Chu up on the high side trying to get a spot. One car slideways. Just behind them, that's the 28. 
He does a complete 360 and keeps it going. We'll stay clean and green as Marshall Jewett begins to pull away here at lap number six. Four laps to go, coming around to complete lap number seven this time. Jewett now building up a half a straightaway lead. Problems here on the front straightaway again with Jobin Bartlett. Bartlett's car very slow on entry in corner number one. We'll keep an eye on this situation. Jewett out front. Bud Wallace in that second spot. Lane Chu now up to third. Oliver Harris is fourth. The 28 still has problems. Unable to get off the speedway. It looks like the yellow flag will have to fly once again for the 28 machine. That is Jobin Bartlett in turn one. Boys broadcast as well with Kirk Ellett. Here we go. Green flag in the air one more time. Wallace way up on the high side, nearly got into the wall down there, and that's going to get a run, a good opportunity there for the 37. Lane Chu now side-by-side side heading into corner number three. Lane Chu on the low side in the 37. Here comes Oliver Harris still with it. Bud Wallace will hang on to second for now as Marshall Dewitt begins to pull away. Oliver Harris problems on that car, having trouble getting grip off of turn number four. That's going to leave that battle for second between the 74 of Bud Wallace and the 37 of Lane Chu. Marshall Jewett now with a half a straightaway length advantage. Eight laps complete, coming for the white flag this time. Flagman Terry Watlin will raise it high in the sky, and we'll have one lap to go for Marshall Jewett, your race leader. Wallace hanging on to second, Lane Chu in third. Oliver Harris back there in fourth, followed by the 34 of Christopher Sparks and the 13 of Amanda Akers. Final moments here tonight for the factory stocks. Ten laps going to be in the books here very quickly as Marshall Jewett will bring it off a of corner number four. Marshall Jewett takes the win here tonight, his seventh feature win of the year in the factory stocks. Bud Wallace will bring it home in second, followed by Lane Chu, Oliver Harris in fourth, the 34 of Christopher Sparks, and the 13 of Amanda Akers will round out your field. Seven-time feature race winner in the factory stocks. Driver out of Gardner, Kansas, getting it done here tonight. Marshall Jewett, your winner. Who's the fancy guy in the... So celebrating win number seven on the year. Kansas in the house here tonight representing. Marshall Jewett picking up the victory, having a great victory lane celebration down there. Reed Brothers Photography in the house. Snapping the pictures once again. Your winner tonight, Marshall Jewett in the factory stocks, getting it done for his seventh win of the year. 1,000 to 1,250 cc's. Power in these Midwest mod lights around. Looking for straight across at the front. Side by side, nose to tail. Green flag in the air from Terry Wallen, and here we go. Midwest mod lights back underway once again. It's pretty neat when you can say five wide here at Lakeside Speedway. That's the way they were momentarily entering corner number one. Who's going to come out and lead the first ever main event lap here at Lakeside Speedway for the Midwest Mod Lights? Lap number one will go to the four machine. Wow, here comes the 46 around. Tim Sterner and Dylan Rafferty going at it for the lead up front. And Dylan Rafferty looks like he will grab the lead down the back straightaway. As he begins to pull away from his closest pursuers, Ed Griggs now on the move up on that high side. They're three wide back there for third. Look at him. Rafferty out front. Sterner in that second spot. Here comes the number seven now as he creeps in on the action. Cody Miller. Cody Miller there. Travis Alexander on the high side. Ed Griggs now drops to the low side. They're three wide momentarily off of two. That all shakes out with Ed Griggs. Now the 73 problems with the 73 deep in the field here as he has slowed down on the low side. 73 able to pull in, will stay clean and green. The 46 machine, Dylan Rafferty pulling away from his closest pursuers. Comfortably out on the way with three laps, lap number four this time around. 12 lap event tonight for the 
Midwest Mod Lights, lap number four, eight laps to go. Ed Griggs now breaks free, moves into that second spot. Griggs has a feature race win this year in the Midwest Mod Lights at Central Missouri Speedway, trying to get one here at Lakeside Speedway tonight. That'll put the number seven of Cody Miller back to the third position. Rafferty comfortably out front. The other Rafferty now making his way forward. There's a lot of Rafferty's in this event, but the one running in fourth position is the 76 machine. Yellow is out, yellow out here. One car off of turn number four, comes to a stall, brings it through the infield. The 75 machine has brought his car into the infield. Justin, seven to go. Midwest Mod Lights. Somebody trying to become the first ever Midwest Mod Light winner here at Lakeside Speedway. They're slow off of four and he gets on the gas. Green is out and we're backing away. Looks like everybody got by the cone, but there could have been a cone violation as the 76 made a pass before he got to the cone. And here comes Ed Griggs, not worrying about the cone this time by Griggs on the low side, looks to grab the lead. Griggs has it now. Griggs takes the lead here at lap number seven. So five laps to go. Can Griggs hang on? But here comes the 46 to power back. Not giving up just yet. The 46 trying to get back up front. Dylan Rafferty wants it back out of Independence. Ed Griggs has it. Off of corner number four, Griggs will maintain his lead. Griggs out front of the 46 of Dylan Rafferty, the 76 of David Rafferty just behind them in third. Could be a cone violation there. We'll see how that all shakes out. Meanwhile, the seven of Cody Miller still back there in fourth with Travis Alexander now inside the top five in fifth. Coming around this time by, it'll be lap number eight, lap number nine, lap nine, three laps to go for Ed Griggs. Griggs now begins to pull away from the Rafferty boys. The 46 of Dylan Rafferty still second, David Rafferty third, Cody Miller back there in the four spot, Travis Alexander fifth, Tim Sterner, your pole setter back there in sixth. Then it's another pair of Rafferty's trying to get back up there in seventh and eighth. Griggs just a couple more laps to go, trying to hang on to become the first ever feature race winner in the Midwest Mod Lights here at Lakeside. The 98 now coming back up through the field. The 98 machine of Jeff Rafferty inside the top hen, just behind him, Michael Rafferty in the 64. It'll be the white flag coming around for Ed Griggs. Next time around, two more laps to go for Griggs. Pleasant Hill, Missouri driver Ed Griggs trying to pick up a win here tonight. Can he hang on? It'll be the white flag this time around. The 46 of Dylan Rafferty still right there. Not letting Griggs out of his sight at the white flag. One more time to go. One more orbit around the Lakeside Speedway. It's Griggs, Rafferty, Rafferty, Miller, and Alexander, your top five here. Final lap, final few turns of the night. They're down the back chute. They're into corner number three on the low side in the 47. This driver's out of Pleasant Hill, Missouri. He pilots the 47. Ed Griggs becomes the first ever one in the Midwest Mod Lights. Dylan Rafferty in that second spot. David Rafferty third. Cody Miller fourth. Travis Alexander fifth. Good run there for the 64. Michael Rafferty back there in seventh, followed by the 98 of Jeff Rafferty in eighth. So good run there. There he is, fans. Ed Griggs, your winner tonight in the Midwest Mod Lights out of Pleasant Hill, Missouri. Flagman Terry Wantland over to congratulate Ed on his victory tonight for the Midwest Mon Lights. And the Reed brothers will take care of business down here for us at Lakeside Speedway, snapping up those photos. I'm sure those guys had a great time here tonight. One more time, fans. Ed Griggs, your winner in the Midwest Mod Lights here this evening.